Hey guys, so I'm back for another video. Today I'm going to be cooking some salmon, um, llama beans, and I have leftover potato salad. Also, I want to give a shout out to my bestie. Happy birthday back there in Kansas City. Love you. So please stay tuned to the video. Thank you for watching and I hope you're having a great day and a happy holiday. Bye. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, you guys, so here are four salmon fillets. There go those hands. <laughs> There's four. So I don't know what that little piece is. Just remove it and put it over there. So the first thing I am going to do is pour some olive oil on the salmon fillets just to kind of moisturize them and then also it's good to have the seasonings will stick well to them as well just going to use my hands spread that olive oil around the salmon rinse my hands next is this little seasoning packet i have is for grilled foods but i wanted to try it on salmon I did taste it in the palm of my hand and it did have a sweet taste. So I'm gonna give it a try. I do like to experiment with different spices and herbs when it comes to meats that I choose to eat. So I'm gonna give this a try. So I'm going to finish opening the package and I'm going to pour this on each filet. Like so, like that. Sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. Then after I sprinkle it on each filet, I'm gonna use my hands and I'm going to rub it in. I pour some to the side over there so that I can make sure that I get the size of the salmon filets as well. And you'll see, pat, pat, pat. <laughs> Just making sure the whole filet is covered with seasoning. So I'm just gonna rub and do this for all four fillets. Making sure I get every little piece of salmon. There we go, there's a close up, hey. Rub it in. And then I'm going to do that to the last filet. And that's me seasoning. I am going to add some salt and pepper after I rinse my hands again. There's the salt. Not too much because the salt is in the packet. And some pepper. Sprinkle, sprinkle. There you have it. So I have a hot skillet of olive oil. There we go, that's what I'm using. Got that at TJ Maxx, AKA Home Goods. Got the skillet hot. You know, you gotta do that hand check. And I like to place it skin up into a hot skillet. So I want to sear the salmon. Not cook it all the way. So you can get a nice crunch at the top. Nice coating. And I'm gonna let that sizzle and do what it needs to do. And it's good. So it is now time to flip the salmon. There goes the good one. There goes another good one. Here comes this little slippery sucker. Come on. Come on. Ugh. Come on now. The oil thing just sliding and gliding. 
There we go. Then get this one. Come on. There we go. I let it cook just a little bit on the skin side as well. Nothing is more delicious than crunchy salmon skin. Now I'm going to place each one on a covered baking sheet. Oop, there got a little slippery sucker. Come on, difficult child. This one too. Just sliding and gliding. Come on. Place some in the cookie sheet. Put aluminum on top. I recommend easy cleanup. Then I'm just going to pour some of that hot oil on top, which has some of the seasonings in it. And the oven is preheated to 365. I'm going to place it in the oven for about 15 minutes. And let that bake. Here I am placing the salmon in the oven. There it is. And there it goes. Hey guys, so I have another wine recommendation for you guys. This is Chocolate Vine. It's chocolate and red wine. Yes, you heard correctly. Chocolate and red wine. So it's Choco Vine Pleasantly Sinful. It's the finest blend of red wine, chocolate, and whipped cream. Mm -hmm. The alcohol percentage for this, for those of you who are interested, 13.9% alcohol. Sinfully delicious. And I got this at Walmart as well. And don't forget that menage a trois that I recommended on Thanksgiving. Menage a trois sweet red blend. Both can be found at Walmart. And we know you all live near a Walmart. There's a Walmart within maybe five minutes of driving. Go ahead and pick this up for the holidays. You'll enjoy it. That's my recommendation as I wait for the salmon to continue cooking in the oven. All right, bye. All right, so the salmon is taken out of the oven. I am going to let it sit here for maybe five to 10 minutes, let it rest, continue to cook internally. Then I will make myself a plate with my lima beans and leftover potato salad. Ladies and gentlemen, here's my little plate of food, potato salad, lima beans, and salmon. I'm zooming in, get a little close up. There we go. And this is my lunch. Thank you for watching. Gotta get back to work. Gotta get back to work. I'm working from home. I'm working from home. Thank you for watching. Gotta get back to work. Bye.